So I think we're live. Uh, let's just get organized. And then we'll see how it looks good. Uh, so let me switch over to this and we'll see how we go. I'm feeling kind of crazy. You got me feeling like my head is spinning around. The way you look is so amazing, amazing. I could stare into your eyes for hours and hours. Everything is kind of hazy. We're just dancing in the dark in the flashing lights. I know you can't. Like you set my whole world on fire I know I want you I know I need you here You're around me I want tonight You know you make me feel so alive I wanna stay with you Never stay the night It's like we're in paradise It's like we're in paradise Well, here we are. Now, I forgot to put a actual uh, thing on the photography videography school, so just bear with me for a second why I do that. Uh, I better let them all know that I'm on there. Uh, let me go to Facebook. Facebook, here we go. Come on, here we go. Let me go to photography videography school. Photography Videography School, there we are. Um, this website, let me come up to here, I think it's on there. Uh, on YouTube, live now. And YouTube live now, let me post it. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't matter, let me link that to the top post into the announcements, pin to featured, and then I'm going to say hi to everyone that's in here. Let me go back to featured announcements. I'll take one out. Now, just I'll, let me just show you quickly. Um, I'll show you the photography videography school if you don't know about it. This is the site here. Let me see if I can switch over. It's number six. Um, so this is the site here. Uh, it's 
a really cool site. Now there's a, nearly there's eight thousand five hundred subscribers on there, um, so we've got an awful lot now in there, and you know it's it's really a terrific um, place. I obviously always post whatever I do on there, and also sort of give warning that I'm going to go on there as well. Um, but feel free to join. It's a very when I say it, it's a group that we don't tolerate any prima donnas. You know that look like if anyone starts to get aggressive or nasty, they're booted uh, because we just don't want that sort of thing on there so uh, you know if you can uh, just join it it's just called the photography and videography school it's got the apisan there uh, so if you do want to do it uh, the link's always below anyway so if you did want to join it that way um, you can see there where it's it's actually put in so let me just drag that back out because I want to um, just pin it to the announcements so let me go here announcements and let me remove that one unpin from the top and unpin from featured and then I'm just going to pin that so people know we are live pin to top beautiful all right all done so let's see who's here anyway now let me just see if I can bring up this list uh, to see what's happening I'll just check that it's actually working. Yes, I think it is. Let me go full screen. Yes, it is. Said uh, here uh, first. We also have um, SH said morning from the UK. That's why I'm streaming for you guys now. Uh, I thought that I'd actually stream for you once a week live that you guys can join on live and ask any questions and things like that. So th this is just for the Europeans and everyone else. I, I wouldn't expect, uh, you know, many from the USA in at this time because it's extremely late. I think it's, um, well, what is it? It's uh, 20 past three in the morning in New York and it's... 120, uh, 12.20 in LA. You know, I thought I'd do one for you guys. Uh, Roy is also here saying good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, this is Rupert. Uh, Robert, good morning everyone from Sweden. First time I could join the live broadcast. These are usually in the middle of our night here. Yep, I'm going to try and do one for you guys every Wednesday night. Well, it's Tuesday for you guys, but it'll be Wednesday for me. Uh, so I'm going to try and do that, uh, you know, pop on for half an hour or something like that. But at least, you know, I can give you guys some attention as well. Um, morning from Spain, I think it's Rue, is it? Uh, Daniel said, hey, I made a live. Yeah, I'm going to try and do these weekly for you guys. Um, Terry is also saying hello David. Uh, Pema said, uh, David, sorry the A74 already had uh, hand of some reviewer. Uh, they had at least six weeks on hand before release, but they will uh, disclose due to Sony rules. Well, I'm sure they are already on uh, in people's hands. I mean, that's the way they work. They put them out for testing, so I wouldn't be surprised. I am streaming again today in 4K, um, so I don't know whether there's going to be many 60. Uh, so we'll just have to uh, see how it goes. Uh, with there as well. Uh, if you have any questions, um, obviously leave them in the chat. If you have any questions later on, just leave them leave them in the grievy thing, or at least I, um, you know, you'll, I'll put a love heart or something on there. Like you know that I've uh, looked at the uh, question or something. Sometimes other people answer it, so I'll just put a love heart there. So uh, I do it that way. Um, Mohammed said, "Good morning, everyone from Saudi Arabia. It's ten thirty a.m. in the morning. Well, it's actually." What is it? 5.20 here uh, in the morning, 5.22, uh, sorry, 5.22 in the afternoon here. Um, and it's been a gorgeous day today. We've been mid-spring today, um, which is great. So I love that as well. Um, so I thought that I'd talk to you today, uh, just sort of some quick rumors about the Sony a7 IV. And I'll continue with this uh, when I'm on the live show on Saturday, my time, it's five o'clock for all of you guys. But uh, I thought I'd continue it then. Um, but let me just switch over because uh, it's it's interesting, this rumor. Uh, let me just go to PGM so I can see. So this is quite interesting because it's uh, saying here that, let me just move up so I'm in there, there we go. It's saying here that uh, the rumors now, it's and they've got this from what they say is a reliable source, but they're saying that um, the launch is in October. And I did talk about that the other day because I actually said that, um, oops, I actually said that I thought that it would, um, originally I thought late September, but obviously with the chip shortage, it's it's behind. So it's not going to be released as soon as what we thought it would be. So they're now sort of saying the middle October to the end of October. 
Um, so, you know, that that's an interesting thing. And hopefully uh, they'll have enough of these uh, out on, on day one. Now, I think what you might find if you want to get this camera when it is released, you are going to have to pre-order it pretty quickly or you're going to be waiting months, I think, to get it. Um, but let's keep going down what they're saying. They're saying, so launch in October if the chip shortage permits. They're also saying newly developed 33 megapixel sensor. So that's terrific because they're actually bringing in a larger sensor. So this sort of differentiates or, or sort of makes it different from say the Canon R5, R5 the, definitely the Canon R6. The Canon R5 is a little bit more than that. But but this sort of it now becomes a really interesting camera and I did predict it would be around 30 megapixels uh, and it looks like it is gonna be around that, like 33 megapixels. So this is gonna give you a, a good option if you wanted to to crop in, if you, if you like to shoot that way. Um, it's also going to be uh, terrific as well if you don't want the file sizes too big. I mean, like if you want, if you're shooting with the A1 or the A7R4, they're quite large files. And if you don't want those sort of large files, like particularly if you're doing events and things like that, uh, this will be an amazing camera. I think, th I, I love, like I said, I, I've said to the people that follow me all along that I love the 12 megapixel A7S III now, uh, and the 24 uh, also is sort of that perfect level for me, but I don't crop in post. Uh, but this does give you the ability to do some cropping in post, and it's also probably gonna give some nice video as well, because it'll be uh, full frame, uh, 4K 60 right across the whole sensor. But uh, let me just switch back again, see what they're saying. So it's a newly developed 33 megapixel sensor. Now it's about time Sony did that um, because basically, um, you know, it, it's been out a number of years now, the a7 III. It's going to have 5.5 stops of IBIS as well. So it looks like it's going to have um, fairly good stabilization. I found all the Sony cameras now are reasonably good. Um, and it just says, I will now share this. Uh, I got this from an Asian source. This is part, uh, let me just come over here so I can read it a bit better on this other screen. Um, how do I get over there? Oh, it's because I'm up there. Yeah, let me come back down here. Whoops. Let me just go back. Um, they're saying here that... Um, I will now share this. I got recently from an Asian source. This part is completely non-confirmed, and I don't know yet if it's correct. Hope the other reliable sources can read this and tell me if it's correct. And what they're saying is, it's saying I have an A7, um, uh, A7 IV on the table right now. And it's saying 33 megapixels max, uh, or megapixels, I should say, 4K 60, um, 240p, that'd be on HD, which is 1080p, 10 frames per second, huge buffer, world's fastest AF. They're also saying, which is interesting too, GPS on camera and new HDR processing similar with similar results to smartphones. So, I mean... That's sort of all they're saying at this stage, but let me just switch back because there's a couple of interesting things here. I, I do think that we've waited long enough now with this, that this is sort of going to be like I've said before, like a mini A1 and a mini um, A7S III. I think it's going to be a mix of those two cameras. So it's probably going to uh, grab the focus from both of those. And I, I've uh, just recently uh, had the A1, and I think people underestimate how good the A7S III is as well. The, the autofocus on that is absolutely outstanding. So it's going to be a mix of those, and it's probably going to be, may not be as good as the A1, but it's certainly going to be really up there. I think if you look at it now, uh, Sony have had has had the A1 out for a while. The A7S III has been out for a while. So I don't think they're going to hold back anymore on this. Now, there will still be little things missing, uh, like it probably won't have 4K uh, 120. You know, it won't have things like that. The high bit rates it probably won't have. Uh, obviously, it won't shoot the same 8K that the A1 has. It also won't do, um, you know, like the 20 frames per second. But I would expect this to be excellent in what it does. And this is probably going to be the, the nicest sort of future Fusion camera around in its price range. I do think it's probably going to be about two thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars. It'll be in that area, and I think that's reasonably priced for what they're going to offer. Now, the body itself, uh, I think, is going to look basically exactly like the A7S III. Uh, uh, I just don't know whether it's going to have a fold-out rear screen. I hope it does personally, um, but it may. They may leave that for the A7S series um, and the A7C series. Uh, but who knows? 
I mean, I, I do hope they have that. Now, I know a lot of people hate that aspect of it, but you can remember just close the screen back and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's going to have, I think, the same cards as what the Sony A7S has and the A1 has, which will be the SD cards and the CF, CF Express A cards as well. So they're going to be in there as well. It'll have the new menu system that's on the A7S III and the newer cameras that are out. And it will also have a better EVF. The EVF in the A7 III is not very good at all. So this will have a better EVF. I don't think it's going to be up near what the, um, uh, you know, the, the uh, A7S and the A1 has. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit less than that. It might be what they have now in the A7R4. Um, so, and that'd be terrific. I mean, I'm really excited about this camera. I really can't wait to see uh, what's offered on there. So let me just come over to the chat because I want to see if you guys um, are saying anything about this as well because I'm just curious to know. Uh, Daniel said, uh, hey, my made it to a live. Yes, you certainly did, Daniel. Uh, good to see you here. Um, Terry said, hello, David. I'm going to try and do this every Wednesday night, my time, Tuesday night for your time if you're in Europe, uh, just so that you guys can join you know, a, a show uh, as well. Um, Noah said, greetings from Austria. Um, is it Shahab, is it? Uh, great timing here in Iran. It's easy to join you at this time, David. Yeah, that's why I thought I'd do it for you guys once a week at this time. Um, so stay tuned. Should be okay. Morning, David. 4K looks awesome. Yeah, I'm shooting 4K 60. I have had a few burns <laughs> done today too on my skin, the dry bits of skin. I went to the doctor today and he's uh, burnt some off, but I'll, I'll be okay. Uh, they just do it just as a precautionary thing. So I've got a couple on my both um but yeah it'll be nice and sharp for you guys that's for sure in 4k that's for sure um big up uh big up the 120 megapixel a7r4 yes the the next one is probably going to be awesome uh yeah i think the a7 uh, uh the new one will well it's incredible what they're going to do i mean i don't know why you'd want files that big but you know i mean it's <laughs> interesting <laughs> Um, Pema said, Jason Vong and Tony already made videos on YouTube. Not uh, not that they didn't disclose any Sony A7 IV because they are not allowed to disclose. Yeah, I'm sure they're not. Uh, I wish uh, the Sony A7 IV would have 20 frames per second. I, I suppose they do have to keep something for the A9 series and the A1 series. So, you know, you're not going to have that in this camera. 10 megapixels is still amazing. Uh, uh, sorry, 10 frames per second is still amazing for this type of camera but they they are going to want to make you buy the a1 and they are also going to make you want to buy the a9 i mean there was rumors the other day that i read out that there was going to be a new a93 so you know we we just have to uh wait and see but i think they'll probably um not give you 20 frames per second but who knows sony made a new uh buying xr processor yep uh, it looks like the a7 IV is going to be the ultimate all-rounder. I agree, Roy. It's going to be a terrific camera. And like I said to people, the longer we have to wait for this camera, uh, the better that this camera actually will be. And, and remember, I did say uh, that if you look at when the a7 um, III came out, it was at that stage a much better camera than the a7S III. Um, so Sony definitely didn't hold back on that camera. They shocked people what they put on that camera for the price. So I think you're going to find this is going to be very, very similar. Uh, I think it's going to be an amazing camera. Um, Sony Birds IF should improve like Canon EOS R6 or R5. I believe Sony add 4K 60 10-bit 422. Uh, RAW photo should uh, be 14-bit like Nikon RAW file. Um, Nikon uh, RAW file absolutely superior. I'm sure they'll be better though, Pema. They're going to have much better. Um, look, every time Sony has brought out a new camera, the uh, color has been particularly improved and i've noticed that's quite drastic coming on i just don't know whether this will have a cinetone that's going to be an interesting thing uh, to see whether they put a cinetone in this obviously it'll have the normal picture profiles uh s log and s log 3 uh things like the hlg but i'm not sure whether they'll put uh, s cinetone i hope they do i mean i really hope that they do put that on there uh, it will definitely have the new screen that's one big plus with this. I think the days of using the older screen now are probably going to be gone. Uh, since they brought out the new uh, A7R, well it's the A7R3 uh, and the A7R4, the A versions of that when the new screen, I think you'll find that the newer cameras that come out now will definitely have that newer screen, which is another big plus as well. Not many people are talking about that, but uh, I would think that's yeah definitely a given. 
Um, this new song called Wild Rumor is not that wild indeed. Having 240p is so welcome, but 10 frames per second, <laughs> WTH. That's not that bad. I don't think that's that bad, really. Um, Pema said, I'm so used to the old menu system, so I'm happy uh, to upgrade uh, megapixel from 24 to 33. Uh, Randall saying, hello, David. G'day, Randall. Uh, Walter said, greetings from the Netherlands. I hope that's how you pronounce it, Walter. Um, Trevor said, 3.30 a.m. here. Lucky I'm a night owl. Don't you sleep, Trev? <laughs> um, Chris said, gosh, they are going to break the GM lenses with 107 megapixel file sizes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, do you need it? Does anyone want that? Well, let me know. I suppose if you're a landscape photographer or a high-end retoucher, you're getting into medium format realm there, though. You know, like you certainly wouldn't want to be shooting weddings and things like that with that sort of camera, that's for sure. Uh, medium format may be in the future. They may. Uh, I'm not convinced, though, but well and they do it uh, at a really good cost so i think if i was going to go um you know sort of medium format at the moment I i'd jump on the fuji bandwagon probably organic farmer said uh hello from hawaii how are you buddy um david do you need uh, to rent the a99 or the a77 to see what a real a real fully articulated screen is i know i agree with you that was the best screen that sony have ever brought out and i don't know why they've never replicated that there must be a reason behind that so i'm not sure i can hear a dog barking um let's keep going Pema said, I already contacted some camera store and Sony Australia uh, to reserve the A7 IV for me. Um, priority. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know whether I'll, well, we're still in lockdown. <laughs> who, knows? who knows when we're going to get out of lockdown? They've now said that poor Melbourne is going to be in it for another year next week, whether we're going to get out of it. But well, honestly, it's a mess. Um, at Vet 5, they may, Matthew, but I think they're going to probably keep the A7 III. Uh, the A7 II will probably disappear. I did hear that the uh, A7R3 has been discontinued. Um, so that now has stopped. Um, so I think you'll probably find they'll keep the A7 as their entry level camera. Um, they may bring out an A5 later on down the track, but I think at this stage they'll probably do the A7 IV. Uh, they'll keep the A7 III as their entry level camera, which is still a great camera. And then if you want to move up, obviously, you can go to the A7S if you want a more true video camera or an A9 series if you want to get more into sports. So I think they'll probably sort of stay around that line uh, at this stage. Um, hope one can choose the raw file size on all the new models like Nikon. I know, I don't know why Sony don't give us that option, particularly if you have the higher megapixel cameras. It would be great to have like a light raw. And I don't know why they don't do that. Um, Sony a7s flippy screen not that much durable than Canon and Panasonic yeah I've been fine with mine I mean mine's been great so I know some people uh, have not had much luck with it um, I used to shoot the Sony a7r2 and found that really tested the limits of a manageable file size for me a 42 to 45 megapixels is really about all you need for most things yeah and I sort of yeah think the same too I'm not sure whether it was the a7r2 or the a7r3 that was discontinued I know it was one of those cameras that was discontinued it might have been the a7r2 uh, I'm not sure or is it the a7 II I know I read it somewhere today but I'm not 100% sure um, Roy said, uh, Sony has really improved on the processor side, which allows things for better autofocus. Sony color can now compare with anyone. I agree that the Sony colors now are outstanding. Um, I mean, that's why I love the A7S III so much. Uh, the JPEGs, the straight out of JPEG colors of the A7S III are unbelievable. It, it is stunning straight out of camera. And in fact, I've done a whole video about that if you wanted to watch it. But in fact, I've watched, uh, I've, I often now just supply the JPEG. Uh, remember, I did try and get everything as, as close as possible in camera. Um, so I don't have to really edit it. But obviously sometimes you have to expose a certain way like if it's really backlit or something like that you might want to edit it in post and that's why i always shoot raw plus jpeg that way i can just change and put whatever i like in there you know if i need some editing i'll use the raw file uh, if the jpeg is good enough um, i'll just use the jpeg as it is and that's often the case that it is good enough right from the start so you know it's uh interesting ike you should be in bed <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you still doing up? What time is it over there with you? It must be, what, about 3.30 or something, is it, Ike? Or is it more closer to LA time, which is quarter to one? Uh, some of you guys never want to sleep. <laughs> Oh, now, if you uh, wanted to check a previous uh, video I just did, I did do a video the other day showing a new sort of monopod and slider all in one. Uh, have a look at that because it is amazing. It's my latest new go-to gadget now, particularly when I'm going to get weddings and when they open up again. Uh, and I'm also going to be doing a slider review. Uh, I may get that up tomorrow um, because that is incredible uh, what this other slider does in conjunction with like a, a Rowan, um, the Rowan RS2. Uh, you can actually put that on it and it gives you some wonderful tracking features and things like that. So stay tuned for that uh, as well. So fire away if you've got any more questions, guys. I'm going to stay on here a, a few more minutes and then I'm actually going to go and get dinner. Um, but I thought I'd pop in. Now, just to let people know, this is going to become a, a live thing that I'm going to do every week for you guys so uh tuesday around about the same time as this uh wednesday australian time i'm going to pop on live just so that i can interact with you know all the european uh viewers so pill said who needs sleep <laughs> i love it yeah well it's um what is it 20 to 6 here in the afternoon so uh we're getting into the evening here uh so it's been a gorgeous day today uh, and like i said unfortunately we can only exercise for an hour just walk around uh, local we can't go past five kilometers so we've got to stay within that <laughs> australia is the uh, most crazy lockdown on earth at the moment i think it's ridiculous but oh well it is what it is um i know bill said who needs sleep i love it <laughs> did it twice so let me know if you have any last uh, questions guys before i head off uh, and then let me know if you'd like to in the comment box down below if you are from the uh, you know like europe or whatever and you want to ask me something for next week's show put it in the comments box down below and i'll make sure that i answer that next week or discuss it so that you can sort of talk to me live about that as well uh, because most of you guys can't get onto my saturday show um, due to the fact that it's you know it's it's too late for you guys to get on um, Ike said, I'm in Florida, right? And it's 2.40 a.m. here right now. You're in Florida, Ike? Are you shooting down there or just on holidays? Because um, that's a fair way from your home, isn't it? Um, that'd be a nice place to uh, shoot, though. It'd be lovely weather there. It'd be nice and stinking hot. I can't wait for us to hit summer. I'm hanging out to be drinking Coronas again. Um, Cameras will get tight for Sony if they don't start discontinuing older cameras. Yeah, it is interesting producing these uh, other cameras, though. You know, they, they probably do have uh, so many bits and pieces that they can still use. That's why we keep getting that crappy. Said Western Europe, 9.40 a.m. in Belgium. Yeah, so it's early for you guys. But I can't wait much later because it ends up getting, you know, late for me in the evening. I like to sit down with Kerry and watch some TV or whatever I'm doing. So... Uh, so I will be around this time each each week, though, for you, John. So just in case if you did want to to what Ike's doing in Florida, let us know, because he might be doing shoots. Uh, oh, no, he is. He's on vacation. Randall said, good morning, good night or morning. Um, family vacation holiday. That's lovely, Ike. I hope you have a ball. I'm sure you will down that way. That's for sure. How long are you staying? A few weeks or a couple of weeks? Trevor says, I haven't been here in a while. Curious if the FX3 holds any interest for you and what do you think of it? Uh, no, it doesn't, Trevor. Um, look, it, it's a fantastic camera and I can understand why people love the, a, the FX3. Uh, I love to use the EVF. Remember, I'm using my camera for stills uh, and also video. And here in Australia, it's really quite, the, our sun is extremely strong. Um, so I use the EVF extensively, particularly when I'm, say, getting critical exposure or, you know, if, if uh, what I'll always do, even when it's on a gimbal, is check through the EVF to make sure everything is perfect. Uh, if I'm manual focusing or whatever, it's so much more beautiful to look through that EVF, which is stunning. So for me, um, th and this is a personal thing, uh, I would buy an A7S III tomorrow if I had the money. Um, but I, uh, I wouldn't buy the FX3 because it misses that EVF. That, for me, is really important. If you don't mind not having an EVF, well, then I think the FX3 is, is probably a better camera. Um, but important, so, yeah, that's the thing uh, for me. Oh, it's raining cats and dogs. Oh, okay. Uh, it's uh, hurricane season. Oh, okay. 
Um, why did you go down there then during hurricane season? Is that just a, a risk that you take? Um, I will make some content too. Um, Tony is with you, uh, with us. Oh, cool. Uh, so trying to set it up, set up a shoot. Yep. Uh, Tawny is the girl from the shootout in Vegas. Yeah, I remember um, with the red hat. Yeah, she's loving Ike. I'm still going to put that together. I've still got it on my hard drives. I'm just buffering then, I noticed. Yeah, so that word buffering. It's interesting because it's not showing on this side at all. Um, pumpkin beer, Bill. What on earth is pumpkin beer? <laughs> Um, Ryan said, G'day, Ryan, how are you, buddy? I was, uh, it was great catching this tonight. Have a nice dinner with Kerry. I certainly will, Ryan, but uh, boy, you're up late too. Aren't you sleeping either? <laughs> Ryan's a great bloke. We uh, all met up when I was in uh, LA um, a couple of years ago. It's, I know it's, uh, well, it is nearly two years now. Incredible how fast that's gone. Uh, we will eventually be coming to Europe. That's the next trip that we've got, but who knows when it'll be opened up here. Uh, I did have both injections today, so I have had both of my injections. Um, so now I'm fully vaccinated. So um, fire away if you have anything else um, before I head off. And just in case if you go, um, I can hey, have a great holiday. Look forward, I'll look forward to seeing uh, some content that you put up from Florida. We might get some nice shots with the uh, um, tropical weather up there. Uh, SH said you've been buffering quite a lot. Yeah, I think it's night time because I didn't buffer much during the day last time. So I think the issue is here is it's... Uh, more because it's light time. Now I'm only, I have 200 up or something uh, going up. So it's a YouTube thing. It's not me. It's actually YouTube that has an issue with this. Um, there's nothing really much. I can yeah, it is jumping. Um, Mark, I could see it on my side too. Uh, Ike said it's actually a sponsored trip. Oh, cool. Uh, VRBO paid my wife some Bitcoin to stay at one of their rentals and make content for social media. What's VRBO? Is that like a, is that like a house thing that you stay in, Ike? Is it or uh, is is because we have similar things here. I'm just wondering if that's what that is. Well, that's fantastic. So if you haven't had to pay for it, that's terrific. Um, enough money to buy the Sony A1 and some lenses. <laughs> is that what you're going to get, the A1? Are you are you moving to Sony? <laughs> I'm sure you'll be getting the uh, top Nikon that's just about to come out. Um, let's see what anyone else will say. Ooh, quiet. Listen to the quietness. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a workation. Well, it's good. I mean, you don't have to work, though. <laughs> Do. You could just go head off and just uh, leave the wife to do all the work. I love it. She'd probably kill you, would she? <laughs> uh, you could be the model there, Ike. You could just sit sit in a corner somewhere and, you know, just chill out, relax on a couch or something. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. Um, I'll be back again next week about this time. Um, oh, so v, what are you saying? It's rental. VRBO is uh, Vacation Rentals by Owners. Okay, yeah, we have our... Uh, what is it? A R B B? I can't remember. <laughs> Something like that over here too, which we have, which is similar um, as well. Uh, we have that. Thank you so much, everyone. This time next week for the same time, uh, we'll do this again. Like I said, if you have any questions next week that you want to ask me, uh, leave those down below and I will take a note of it and I'll, I'll make sure I sort of bring it up uh, next week uh, for you guys as well. Apart from that, you'll hopefully anyway, I have to take the photos, laugh out loud. I'm the one that takes the pics that get used. I love it. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'll uh, catch you.